<laughs> Nicole and I have known each other since probably first grade. We started dating in high school and made it through college, got married. And now we have alpacas. <laughs> and four children. Yeah. Go ahead. Go ahead. Good girls. Good morning. Come here. Uh, we have 26 alpacas right now. By the end of the weekend, we will have 27. Nicole and Stephen Phillips began their alpaca adventure just five years ago. We went to our first alpaca farm, fell in love with one alpaca in particular, Cinnamon, and ended up purchasing her and her sister and her mother. <laughs> it's a lot of exercise for her. I've never been around alpacas before that day in my whole life. Oh, she's shivering. You're shivering too, yeah, I'm sorry. But okay. falling in love with alpacas is really easy to do. We'll I kind of thought that the alpaca farmers were a little nuts, <laughs> uh, a little loopy, because they could look out in a field of 50 or so alpacas and tell me all their names and what type of day they were having. And I was like, these people are touched. Look at Hottie over there. <laughs> she's just trying to figure out a way to get filthy. And now <laughs> I I'm one of them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Morning, buddy. Hi, Phoenix. Hi, Phoenix. Hey, bud. But Stephen's not the only Phillips family member who's all about alpacas. Good boy. The younger two, Grace and Daniel, are the most involved. And then our older two are grown adults out of school doing things off the farm. Good boy. Good boy. <laughs> For me, it's sort of like interacting with siblings in a way. That's some. There you go. I have a special bond with one alpaca named Pippa. She was born on the farm, and I feel like we clicked immediately. She was so tiny when she was born. I was in high school at the time, and I would come out uh, after school and hang out with her, and we would play. Good boy. Alpacas will be a part of my life forever. Not just because we love them so much, but because they're part of the family, and having them as a reason to come home will always be uh, really special to me. This is what we really do most of the time, is just <laughs> shoveling manure. <laughs> Thank you. Good girl. Good girl. While Stephen isn't ready to quit his day job as an account manager for a large tech firm. Good girl. Good girl, Padma. Their growing herd of alpacas contributes to sustaining the farm with their wool. Our focus has been on textiles like scarves and hats and headbands and gloves, things uh, of that nature. We have them sheared once a year, usually in early to mid-April. They get all of that fiber off of them before the summer months. We look forward to it. We do because all of a sudden you get to see their face. Three of the alpacas remain unsheared because they're getting ready to compete in an alpaca show in Maryland. And they have to be in full fiber in order to participate in that. This weekend, Grace and I are going to be meeting our parents there and be showing three animals. The three alpaca competitors are a female yearling, Rory, a female juvenile named Hottie, and a three-year-old male, Orion. You're right, bud. There you go. With any animal, including Orion, we have to make sure they're used to being walked on a halter, so we'll do some training. Good boy. Looking great. Did you set up? The way you're setting him up is exactly what the judges are going to want to see. 10 out of 10, buddy. You're amazing. <laughs> you're going to kill it. In just yeah. a few days, Daniel will lead Orion into the show ring, and Grace will compete alongside Rory. The first show we went to with alpacas was definitely very nerve wracking. But they know mom and dad will be cheering on both their two and four legged kids. There you go. Good boy. I'm rooting for each of them to be there and support the other so that everybody comes out feeling really, really good. Daniel and Grace are already on their way. Good girl. So we're ready to hit the road. <laughs>